Hi guys, today we're looking at yes, another new concealer from Revolution. So this is the Revolution Pro Ultimate Radiant Under Eye Concealer. You get 4.5 mils and it costs, because I've got the website up, it costs £8. So it's definitely not the most affordable concealer. I'm actually doing a bit of a comparison with the Conceal and Define Infinite, which is my current go-to. I buy the big 9ml tube for £9. So this is almost twice the price. So it comes in the same shade titles, you know, the C1, 2, 3, 4, blah, 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 all the way up to 17.5. And then it says, The Revolution Pro Radiant Under Eye Concealer is the best liquid concealer to brighten, colour correct and illuminate fatigued eyes whilst helping to diminish the appearance of fine lines. Enriched with brightening vitamin C, niacinamide to even out the skin tone and hydrating hyaluronic acid, this creamy sealer is the perfect all-purpose concealer, but particularly beneficial to conceal dark circles. Encased in a glamorous gold cap, the unique dofu applicator has been specifically designed to fit comfortably under the eye area with precise and easy application. So, does have added skincare benefits, which is where that price difference is going to be. Um, I have used this just for my under eye today because in terms of how I like the rest of my skin to look, I am quite a matte finish person, so I tend not to use radiant base products other than under my eye. So let's see how this went and we will see how it holds up. Right, so let's get this started. We're going to put the brightening concealer on the right eye, because it's got the word in it. And we're just going to use the Conceal and Divine Infinite on the other side, just to kind of compare whether this does really brighten. So they're both the shade C1, so hopefully, hopefully, um, they're going to be identical. So this is in the square tube, a little bit like the NARS brightening concealer, but cruelty free. So... And the other one with the gigantic doe foot. I actually think I prefer the gigantic doe foot, is that weird? And that looks a little bit lighter actually, which is weird because normally Revolution are pretty good, but once it's a shade name, they're all the same. Um, but these are quite noticeably different. So, hopefully, once they're blended out, they won't be. So. And look, I have concealer that I forgot to blend out already. Yay. Can you tell I'm tired? That's why we need a brightening eye concealer. And the infinite concealer. So, I've not done a corrector today, just because it's a brightening concealer. It's meant to do it itself. And... It looks a bit more natural, I would say, on this side. Got higher coverage on this side, but this looks a bit more natural. I'm just going to add a little bit more, see what I can do. Even things out. But I think this side is definitely a shade lighter, um, despite being the same shade name, which is it's a bit strange with like a brightening concealer being darker. But, whatever. Um, I think it is doing a good kind of reflecting. It looks a bit more even under here, whereas this looks a little bit more sunken because it's not reflecting quite as much. So, that's nice. So, yeah, at the moment I quite like this. Let's get everything set down. Oops. So, I've just got my usual RCMA powder. And we'll see how these both look once they're set. Okay. I'm just going to set the rest of my face while I'm here, but anyway. Um, okay, this one does actually look nicer. The under eye area just looks a little bit smoother, um, which is good. So, hopefully, they will last just as well, cover wise. What time are we at? You're at. Quarter to eleven. My bad. So I'm going to go finish the rest of my makeup and we will see how these hold up throughout the day. Right, back for a check-in. So the time is just about ten to eleven. So 
I've got a tiny bit of smudging on my lower eye from, I don't know if it's mascara or my eye makeup, but we'll, we'll zoom in so that you can see. So, I actually feel like the coverage on this side has lasted better because ignoring the smudgy stuff here, the line where my you know, shadow starts is far more concealed on this side, which is the infinite cover, um, and it's pretty visible on this side. Now, I'm just going to try and show that that is not um, eyeshadow, because when I wipe it, it gets worse. Um, that's definitely my natural shadow under there. Um, the outer corner, it's, I don't know, it almost looks really obvious that there's makeup there now, um, compared to my other, other eye. So, I mean, this looked really pretty when it went on this morning, um, but I just don't think it's lasted as well as the Infinite one, which I guess kind of makes sense because it's advertised as being Infinite. Um, but this is twice the price. Skincare benefits? Okay. Eh. I don't know how much of that's really going to get to my skin because by the time I put this on, I've already got my skincare my primer and my foundation so to an extent probably a bit of a waste having that in there um yeah no I, I, I would pass on this I honestly think this is the better concealer if you want a little bit of correction or illumination underneath you can um, there's plenty of products that do that plenty of products that are cheaper than this that do that and don't get that slightly cakey effect on the outer corner that I'm still kind of just confused by. I'm also just really confused by the the shade being out. Maybe I got a duff one because um, that looks more... this makes me think more of like a, a C3 that they do um, which I can still get away with using because I think the fast stick concealer I've got at the moment is C3. I'm going to do a swatch test. Right, so the matte base concealer, that's the one I was thinking of in the stick. Mine's is getting a little bit done. Um, so I'm just curious, because this is see free, like I said. So we're going to do a stripe of that. We're going to do a stripe of the under eye brightening. And then we're going to do, possibly not a stripe of the infinite because it's it's a little bit running out um, and has a hair in it. Eesh. Okay. Okay, so this is apparently two shades darker than this. And this is meant to be a brightening product. So I don't know whether it's they've put a lot of peach pigments in it to try and get that correction in there, but it definitely looks just straight up darker. Like, even blended out, and bearing in mind, I know I'm repeating, this is two shade names darker than this. So, that's crazy. Um, if anybody else has tried this concealer and noticed any inconsistencies with the shades, especially if you're further along in the range than I am, perhaps this is just in the really, really pale shades where those brightening pigments are making enough of a difference to kind of mess with the overall colour. Um, I'd be really interested to know if anybody has found out anything about that. Just in case anybody's wondering, the lips are revolution as well. And it is the... Okay, it's not got the actual lipstick name on it, but it's called Stripped, and I'm sure I had the box still. <gasps> dun dun dun! It's a Revolution Pro one anyway, in the leopard printy. Thing. Just in case Andy was wondering, because it's a really nice soft pinky nude for pale skinned people, which I'm finding a lot of them now are very brown toned that I find in the shops. So I was on a hunt to find one less brown toned, and this is what I found. Anyway, I'm doing the rambling thing again, but I hope you guys have had a lovely weekend. If you have any requests, leave them down below. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button, because apparently it helps me out, and I like help. So, I need help would be better, but hey, bye guys.